Once upon a time, there was a boy, a boy who never wanted to grow up. One day he heard his mother talking of what he would be when he grew older. Everything was fine until the end. What would happen to him after he grew up? Terrified of the answer, he ran away and vowed he would never grow old. He ran away to Neverland, where the fairies taught him to fly. Where is it, Tink? Who else is freaking Carsten? What freaking box? There's like seven boxes in here. I don't know. And show me where the bucket is. Hi, what's your name? Wendy Moira Angela Darling. What's yours? Pan. Peter Pan? Sure. Where do you live? Second on the right and straight on till morning. <laughs> what a funny address. I, I guess. I mean, is that what they put on the letters? I don't get letters. But your mother gets letters, right? I, I don't have a mother. No wonder you were crying. I wasn't crying, I was just... Couldn't get my shadow to stick on. It came off? How awful! It must be sewn on. Sewn on? You are dreadfully ignorant. Whatever. <clears throat> I'll sew it on for you. Stay here. It'll probably hurt though. Wendy, look. Look. Oh, the cleverness of me. Yeah, because I did nothing. You did a little. A little? Well, if I'm no longer of use to you, I'll be going to bed now. Oh, Wendy, don't be like that. I can't help crowing when I'm pleased with myself. Well, go be pleased with yourself somewhere else. I'm sure one of your lost boys would be perfectly happy listening to you. <laughs> I don't want to talk to one of the lost boys. You can't just send me away like this. One girl's worth, like, more than 20 boys. Peter, it's perfectly lovely the way you talk about girls. Does that mean you're going to come out from there? Yes. So, how old are you? I don't know. Young, I guess. I ran away when I was really little because I heard my mom talking about what would happen to me when I grew up. I wanted to be young and have fun forever. So I went and lived among the fairies. Speaking of, where is she? Tinkerbell! Tink, where are you? Please mich das dich frei, dummer Bastard. Ich fahre zu Godpan. Wenn ich von hier aussteige, ich werde in deine Fähne auftritt. What does she say? Uh, that's fairy language. Gottverdammtes! Du bist arslos, du bist so ein Dickkopf! I'm sorry, you shouldn't say that. I didn't know you were locked in there. What does she say? She's not very polite. Sag ihr, ihr slutty Hände bei selbst behalten. Du bist mein Mann und sie, sie muss sich zurückhalten. She's not usually this naughty. Peter, can I give you a kiss? What's a kiss? It's like this. Pen, wenn sie dich küsst, dein Schwanz wird schwarz sein und du musst wie ein Mädchen pinkeln. Ah! Oh. What did she say? You don't want to know. Nein, sag ihr, dass sie ein skunky Hülle ist und ihr smutzige Muschi ist mit jeder dreckigen STD gefüllen. Tinkerbell, wait for me outside. Well, she seemed lovely. Peter, why did you come to my window? I used to live here. Not for very long, but with my brother. 
He forgot some stuff, so I came by. But when I came, you had already moved in. The night that I came by, though, your mother was telling a story. We don't have any stories. The Lost Boys really like them when I tell them to them. Anyways, the last time I was here, I left my stash outside and Tinkerbell said she saw you take it and put it somewhere. But the story that I heard your mom tell the other night was about some prince that found a glass slipper. That was Cinderella. He found her. They lived happily ever after. That's good. They like that. They like happy endings. Wait, don't go. Where are you going? To tell the Lost Boys. Oh, don't go. I know lots of stories. I could tell them to you and the boys. Well, come on then. We'll fly. I... maybe I shouldn't. I don't want my parents to worry. Forget them. Forget them all. Come away with me to a place where you'll never have to worry about growing up. Never is a very long time. Fly away with me, Wendy. Fly? I don't know how to fly. I'll teach you. Will you teach John and Michael too? Who? My brothers. I guess. <laughs> Hey, Queer Bay. How's it going? None of your business, asshole. Now that's no way to make friends. And we like making friends. Don't we, boys? Yeah, we like making friends, too. Hey, that's a nice hat, Darkie. Hey, back off! That's okay. I'd rather have your drugs anyway. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? Get this! Now, Starkey, would you like to explain to me how $300 worth of my product was simply taken from you? Sorry, boss. The nibs kiss. Oh, shut up! I didn't say make excuses. I said tell me how this happened. I, I, you, you were stupid! That's what you should be telling me! They're fucking children, Starkey! I should kill you for this. Now, now, Captain. You need some of this, boys. Give me one good reason why. Well, I do find Starkey to be repugnant. He does his job well. And without him, you'd have to start selling the goods yourself. She saved your life. Now get out of here, all of you. If you ever overstep your boundary again, I swear to every god in existence, I will slit your throat. Do you understand me? Good. My brother and his playthings are becoming an annoyance. Maybe we should take away his toys then. When a child's room gets too messy and his toys about to clutter up the place, there are only two options. 
Yeah, they pick them up and get thrown away. Nicely put. However, I find that picking them off one at a time to be a great hassle. Instead, if we can get them all together in one place, if we can take them all at once, but not in some pants. Do you have a plan? Perhaps. Does it involve that breath of guts made across the pavement? You do paint a very pretty picture. My punishment is much more befitting for a pan's cause. Hey, back off. I'll give you a share in a little bit. How was school? Blame. We're learning about early American history. Why do I give a fuck about early American history? <laughs> you never know. Maybe someday you'll be captured by some Indians. They'll threaten to kill you unless you can name the first three presidents. Bullshit. Like three whores would ever care about the first three presidents. I don't know why you make me go to school anyways. I'm just gonna become a drug dealer like you. You're the best anyways. Look, I don't want you to become a drug dealer. I only picked it up so I could take care of you and that's also the reason I dropped out of high school. I mean, I should have stayed. Would have been a lot better off with a degree. I mean, I might have even gone to college. College? You? Bullshit, you would never go to college. Education isn't something to be laughed at. A degree means a lot. I mean, you, you would have had a lot better life if I had gotten a degree. So you're gonna go to school and make good grades or I'll beat your happy ass. Whatever, jerk. Hey, what's the matter with her? Bad trip. She's been that way almost an hour. Don't you think you should do something? She is your girlfriend. Yeah, but she's won't even let me touch her. She's paranoid as hell. I don't even know what else to do except let her write it out. It's kind of fucked up. Yeah, well, you try dating a junkie. And being in love with one, lots of things are fucked up. You're really in love with her? Yeah, she's a pretty cool chick when she's not all messed up. Which is all the time. Hey, back the fuck off. Look, I've never even seen you touch a girl. You're probably fucking queer. I'm not gay, you are. Oh, is that right? Maybe I wouldn't think that if you weren't down at the skate park with all those queer bait emo kids all the time. Hey, fuck you, asshole. I wish you would fucking die so I didn't have to listen to your bullshit all the time. You know what? Gotta make a call. I'll deal with you later. Fine. Leave me with the crazy chick. You're a great big brother. Hey, just don't fuck around with her. Sit on it and spin, dickhead. Right back at you, Brad. Hey. Hey, bitch, look at me. Well, my brother doesn't really love you like he says he does. What? Yeah, to him you're not just another hold of fuck. He only says that so that you do whatever he wants. I don't believe you. He wouldn't lie to me like that. <laughs> look, bitch, I'm his little brother. He tells me everything. Especially when it comes to getting some ass. But I love him. Yeah, and I bet he's banking on that. That way he doesn't have to go through the trouble of finding another slut to bang. Really? Yeah, but I got this crazy idea that'll make sure he remembers you forever. What is it? Well, you don't have his heart. So I think you should take something of his. Like what? I don't know. Just... just something. But what? I don't know. He has your heart. You should take it back. Do you think it would work? I promise it will work. And afterwards, you'll feel amazing. Hey man, so do you want it or not? You gotta have to give me the money soon. Hey, baby, you feeling any better? Give me back my heart. Desire, wh why the hell do you have a knife? Because I've come to take my heart back. Give it back. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, Desire, don't fuck with me here. I'm not. I'm just making sure you're not going to hurt me again. Wait, just stay back. Well, that sounded like fun. What did I do? 
Don't worry, you'll remember in the morning when you wake up. Let's just say you made my day. Welcome to Neverland! Hey! Ben! Wendy, these are my Lost Boys. And Lost Boys, this is Wendy and her brothers. She's your new mother. Why do we need a mother? To tell you stories and discipline you. Because you guys are undisciplined fucks and need to be punished for killing your last mother. What? It was an accident, I swear. I told you not to take so much X. Yeah, you don't want you foaming out the mouth again. <laughs> I thought she was a bird. She looks like a crow. So you shot her? <laughs> Don't worry, you're much prettier than a crow. I'm sure they won't be able to mistake you for one. Come on, Wendy, I'll show you around. Hi, what's your name? John. Who are you? Toodles. I'm Michael. Aw, how cute. Whatever. Who are you guys? We're the Lost Boys. She's not a boy. Toodles doesn't count. She followed us home and she's cute, so we let her stay. Aren't you? Aren't I what? Never mind. Looks like your woman saved your ass again, Snacky. Shut the fuck up. She's not my woman. That's not what it looked like last night. I said shut the fuck up! Starkey. Uh, look what we have here. Ooh. Little crocodile looking for her fix. You're lucky the boss likes you. Unless we'd have to charge you more. I don't have any more. I'm sure we could think of another way you could pay. Couldn't we, boys? Don't get too handsy, boss. Hook's gonna be here any minute. Swim away, little crocodile. We've heard enough of your ticking. As I came to find out in Neverland, everything, everyone, had a story. Each tale was more elaborate or obnoxious than the last, but always containing a grain of truth. Most of the stories were happy, some were sad, and a few were heartbreaking. Look! Cut it out! You've already had enough as it is! Fuck you, man. It's just one more hit. No! Man, I hate you. Fine! Hate me! <sighs> Fuck! Jesus Christ. Come on. No, Kong. No. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome. What can I do for you? We're looking for one of your girls. Oh, just one. Between all four of you? It's not about sex. We're looking for information. Oh, information, huh? Who are you looking for? Tiger Lily. Hey, hey! Hands off the merchandise! Ah, the princess, huh? What oh, is she gonna cost you? I told you. It's not <laughs> about the sex. Oh, and I'm telling you, information costs more than sex. A grand for the night. Take your money. Hmm. Thank you kindly, gentlemen. Tiger Lily will be at Hook's place at, oh, about eight. Play nice, and if she doesn't come back in one piece, we'll sick the girls on you. And they take scalps. <laughs> we'll keep that in mind. Come on, boys. 
<laughs> Idiots. I told them stories, fairy tales, and grand adventures. They drank them in like they were all we needed to survive. At night, we would huddle together against the cold, the stories fresh in our minds, and the sweet heat of liquor in our stomachs. During the day, we did what we wanted, living together as a sad sort of family and going on adventures. This is a very important place, Wendy. This is where the pirates bring you if they're gonna kill you. They usually would just shoot you, but if you do something really bad, they tie your hands and feet together and then throw you in so you can't swim. Then they watch you drown. How awful. Yeah, that's how my brother deals with troublemakers. Too bad. You should have talked. We're gonna miss our times together. Well, maybe, maybe we can work out some arrangement. <laughs> what do you have in mind? Stark, you already on hook shitless. Please refrain from molesting the prisoner. Back off, Fitz. You're in no position to be making deals. Hey, it's me. Not so rough. Roughish, but not so rough. Captain's orders. <sighs> Poor Tiger Lily. What was that? Starkey, Smee, where are you at? It's the captain. You have the slut near the pool, captain. Let her go. What? But captain! Let her go or I'll throw you both in the water, too. This is odd. Orders are orders. <sighs> Maybe we could, uh, renegotiate that deal. Call me when you have something to offer. Where's Tiger Lily? We let her go. You what? Just like you told us to. Yeah, we heard you yelling at us. You incompetent fucks! It sounded just like you, sir. Did it now? Yeah, I could have sworn it was you. Of course you did. Wanna play games, Pan? We'll play games. Oh, great spirit that haunts this dark lagoon. Can you hear me? I hear you. Who are you? I am James Hook, bloodthirsty pirate. Really? Then who am I? You are a codfish. Cute. Have you any other name? Aye. Vegetable? No. Mineral? Nope, try again. Animal? Yes. Man? No. Boy? Yes. Ordinary boy? No. Wonderful boy. Yes. Hello, Pan. Have you learned your lesson yet, boy? Me? Learn anything? Never. Let me introduce you to a new concept. Pain. <laughs> you wouldn't kill me. Anyone else would, but you wouldn't kill me. And what's to stop me? You're my big brother. And you have a visitor. A what? No. No, not you! No! Shit. Here, take this. It's the only way we're gonna get out of here alive. What is it? It's a gun. What do you think it is? What do I need a gun for? To kill pirates, obviously. We're not gonna get out of here any other way. I, 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 I can't just shoot someone. John, you like to play video games, right? Yeah. Well, just imagine you're playing Halo or Modern Warfare, and you're Master Chief, and they're, they're aliens or, or terrorists or something. They're just, just, it's so much easier when you know they're gonna respawn in 30 seconds. Now, I'm gonna go and run that way. You cover me, and then I'll cover you. And if I get shot and die, I'm gonna come back and hunt the fuck out of your ass. Got it? Good. It's just like Halo. It's just like Halo. It's just like Halo. It's just like Halo. Death to 
of the covenant. Die, motherfuckers! <laughs>